The family of a teenage girl who was killed in Croydon have paid tribute to her as the investigation into the death continues. Elian Andam was on her way to school when she was attacked in Wellesley Road at approximately 8.30 a.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of September. Officers were at the scene within two minutes of the call being received. They worked with emergency service colleagues to provide first aid. Despite their efforts, the 15-year-old sadly died at the scene. A spokesperson for Elian's family said, Our hearts are broken by the senseless death of our daughter. Elian was the light of our lives. She was bright and funny, with many friends who all adored her. She was only 15 and had her whole life ahead of her, with hopes and dreams for the future. All those dreams have now been shattered. Our lives have fallen apart, along with that of our wider family. We ask the media to please respect our privacy as we try to grieve the short life of our beautiful child. Detectives from the Met Specialist Crime Command are continuing to investigate the circumstances that led to Elian's death. Within 75 minutes of the incident, a 17-year-old boy was arrested in New Addington on suspicion of murder. A 12-hour extension to his custody time limit was granted by a senior officer this morning and he remains in custody at a South London police station. Detective Chief Inspector Rebecca Woods Ford, who is leading the investigation, said, My thoughts and the thoughts of my team are with the Elians family. This is a deeply upsetting time for them and we will do everything we can to support them. Our investigation continues and we are making good progress. We have recovered CCTV from the area and have spoken to a number of witnesses. Forensic scientists have also examined the scene. From these inquiries, we are now confident Elian was attacked outside in Wellesley Road near to the bus stop rather than onboard the bus. We know many people were in the area at the time and would have witnessed the attack. This would have been distressing and traumatic and I would encourage anyone who needs support to contact us and we will help to arrange this. I know that Elian's death has left many people feeling upset and I would like to thank the people of Croydon for the support they have shown us as we have carried out our inquiries in the town centre. I know this work has been disruptive, however it has been vital and your patience is appreciated. A post-mortem examination is taking place on the afternoon of Thursday, the 28th of September. The suspect knew the victim. Further inquiries are taking place to establish their exact relationship. Any witnesses who need support, or have information about the incident, are asked to call 101 quoting CAD 1601 27 SEP.